Instructomania presents The Geography of Medieval Europe. This video will detail the geographic features of medieval Europe, how geography shaped the lives of Europeans during the Middle Ages, and who lived in Europe during the Middle Ages. The word geography, through a historian's lens, means the physical environment and how it may influence an economy and culture. Some examples may include scorching deserts that encourage nomads to move between water sources, islands where the surrounding ocean offered a food source, flooding rivers that created fertile farmland, and mountains where a resource like timber was used for building. The Geographic Features of Medieval Europe Europe sits in the Northern Hemisphere, jutting out into the Atlantic Ocean. Europe shares an eastern border with Asia. The Mediterranean Sea is south of Europe, separating the African and European continents. Lands in the northernmost region of Europe reside in the Scandinavian Peninsula, home to modern Sweden, Norway, and Finland to the east. The major bodies of water in central northern Europe, from east to west, are the Baltic and North Seas and the English Channel. The expansive northern European plain spans from northern coasts and northeastern lands of Europe all the way southeast to the Black Sea. Running through the northern European plain, the Rhine River is one of many major European rivers. It originates in the Swiss Alps and flows in a mostly northerly direction through modern Germany and the Netherlands. The Carpathian Mountains and the Balkan Mountains separate the northern European plain from the Balkan Peninsula, Aegean Sea, and the area now known as Turkey. The Danube River runs inland from the Black Sea to the center of Europe, about 1,770 miles. It skirts north of the Alps and the Italian Peninsula. The Apennine Mountains span the majority of the Italian Peninsula. The last major mountain range in southern Europe are the Pyrenees, which separated mainland Europe from the Iberian Peninsula, where modern-day Spain and Portugal reside. The Strait of Gibraltar is a narrow body dividing Spain with Morocco. Test your knowledge. Let's play Follow the Fish. In this game, you will track the fish as it appears on a blank map of Europe. Once the music stops, you will use a map of Europe labeled with physical features to determine where the fish ended up. Other animals may appear on the map, so don't forget to keep your eyes on the fish. So, where did the fish end up? Was it the Alps, the Balkan Peninsula, or the Black Sea? That's right, it was the Balkan Peninsula. Let's try it again. Remember to keep your eyes on the fish. So where did the fish end up? Was it the Pyrenees Mountains, the North European Plain, or the Danube River? Yep, it was the Danube River. Let's try one last time. You got this. So, where did the fish end up? Was it the Carpathian Mountains, the Iberian Peninsula, or the Aegean Sea? Nice job! It was the Carpathian Mountains. How Geography Shaped the Lives of Europeans During the Middle Ages The Middle Ages, also known as the Dark Ages, started after the fall of the Roman Empire in 476 CE. Because of the lack of protection from the former Roman Empire, people had to look elsewhere for protection from often barbaric groups competing over resources. Groups of people battled for control of different regions, especially those with freshwater rivers for agriculture and food supply. Feudal manors that offered a system of protection from invaders popped up along water sources and trade routes. 
the many mountain ranges in the southern regions of Europe created a barrier of protection from Arabian, Asian, and African invaders. However, the flat land of the great European plain and the deep waters of rivers such as the Danube allowed northern invaders deep into Europe. Vikings in particular used narrow ships called the Longship to move swiftly down rivers and into European countrysides to attack quickly. The constant fear of attack meant that people were willing to sacrifice freedom for a localized system of protection. Who lived in medieval Europe? In order to protect their land and people, European lords created and trained their own armies. Often these armies included knights, men who were paid in money and land to swear allegiance to their lord and fight for him. Lords and their families lived in luxury and oversaw their agricultural and trade interests. They often did business with merchants and religious leaders. Peasants, referred to as serfs, lived, worked, and often died in the service of their lord. Whole families and generations of serfs continued to work and live on the same lord's land or in his household. Religion played an important role in feudal European society. Catholic Christianity dominated. In fact, as the leader of the Catholic Church, the Pope even crowned the King of the Holy Roman Empire, giving the Pope ultimate authority to influence leadership. Manners had their own church buildings and a resident priest, bishop, or deacon. Monasteries and nunneries also sprang up in medieval Europe, where groups of men or women decided to live separately from the rest of society in service to God and their fellow men. Poor monks, called friars, traveled and served as needed in exchange for food and basic necessities. With the fall of the Roman Empire, slaves were rare but did still exist in larger manners, especially in the Mediterranean regions that had contact with African and Muslim traders. Let's check out what it really looks like in Europe. As you can see, the physical environment and disunity of medieval Europe greatly influenced the culture of the people who lived there. Consider this, in what ways does the physical environment influence your community? Be prepared to support your answers with examples. From two teachers to all of you amazing teachers out there, we would like to thank you for choosing our resources to use in your classroom. Find more Instructomania teaching materials and lessons at our Instructomania store and on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for your support.